Good day, Bambies! Collider here, and welcome back to my channel. So, I'm really excited to be back here on my channel um, doing a house build video in The Sims 4, of course. So, it has been quite a while since I've done normal uploads on this channel, and the reason why this past week I've been away is because I'm not sure if you guys can hear it in my voice. Um, I have been quite ill. I actually uh, fell sick with a flu after being out uh, to some events the previous week. And yeah, it's been a little bit crazy. I've been very, very ill. I've been in bed basically for the past week. So that's been not too great. It feels like time just got away from me. I don't feel like I've been away for an entire week, but Yes, I am finally recovering um, and now I have a little bit more of a voice. Yesterday I was really trying to get myself into the spirit of recording but my voice wasn't totally back yet and you guys could probably still hear that it isn't and I'm trying to like kind of whisper because it's been so long uh, that I don't want to strain my voice. I, I want to get straight back into daily uploads so I'm going to try to be a little bit kind to my voice. Um, but in saying that, uh, I am going to try to do commentary through the entirety of this video. So I just want to talk to you guys. And also let's talk a little bit about this build already. So you guys are probably wondering, what is this? And what is this for? What is that crazy looking character standing out the front of this house? Well, this is the Licorice Lodge. Well, that's what I decided to call it. It's more of like a little bit of a beach shack um, inspired by some of the renovated homes that I've been seeing around the areas um, of the like Victoria coast here in um, Australia because Ethan and I, my partner and I, we've been looking towards moving somewhere at the end of the year which isn't in the city but kind of close and we really want to go near the beach so we've been looking at a few places in um, a lot of the little beach towns on the coast here and there, a lot of them are actually little shacks like this that have been renovated. So this is sort of inspired by the shed that is at Peckett's place. Uh, but the front and everything is more inspired by what I've been seeing on rental websites online uh, towards what me and my partner are hopefully going to be able to live in in the future, like just a cute little house. I'm excited. Uh, so that's sort of my goal. But anyways, this build is a licorice lodge. It's a little shack and you guys will probably already guess, I'm going to be doing the not so berry challenge. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited because it is basically just a rainbow legacy challenge and little simsy Lil simsy oh my gosh i just got her name wrong i'm so sorry Lil simsy if you please kayla please i'm i'm really sick still like i'm still recovering i'm bad at remembering people's names too so be grateful that i've remembered your name i didn't remember chloe's or coffee's so <laughs> so bad uh, but uh, her and her friend always simming I do believe if I got that wrong I'm super sorry as I just said I'm really bad with remembering names I'm just the absolute worst it's hereditary I swear my dad is just as bad if not worse than I am uh, but uh, yes this is for that challenge and you guys guessed it I go way overboard it's supposed to be a challenge and because I had an idea of a beach shack in my head, I was like, oh, you won't mind if I add this one, one little thing, and then this little thing, and this little thing, and then this little thing, and then it just got out of hand, and what I'm gonna have to do is actually delete a whole bunch of stuff, so then it's more of a challenge instead of us having everything, but I thought it would be cool for me to kind of look back at this build and be like, okay, these are the things that I want in the house and we can save up for them, so it's sort of like a after and before that's what I'm going to be doing, I guess. Uh, but yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. Well, I am just wanting to apologize if this video is just 
all over the place um, commentary wise. It's just been a long time since I've been able to do daily uploads and with this sickness I'm like I'm still a little bit lightheaded like um, I've had a headache all day it's so bad um actually this this flu was probably one of the worst i've had in a while because it was like a mixture of like having a fever fever i can't even talk having a fever having um, a headache and then all of the horrible things that comes with having a normal flu so it was pretty dreadful i'm so glad that i'm through the like brunt of it and now i'm actually starting to recover so do look forward to more videos and hopefully the not so berry challenge very very soon hopefully tomorrow i'll be able to record it um but i have a whole bunch of other things that i need to record probably before this because I really really want to work on vampires um, on nightshade vampires of nightshade and I also um, have a couple other things in Minecraft which I've been working on so be on the lookout for a few new series guys uh, while I've been sick I've been trying to use what little time I have um, when I'm not asleep um, to be working on other things because it was really hard for me to be on my computer while I was ill because it just made my head hurt even more. Uh, so if I was away on social media, that is also why. And I am back. I am back, guys. Well, hopefully. Um, and hopefully I don't lose my voice by doing this commentary. But I just, I couldn't wait. I really, really wanted to talk to you guys. And it's just been so long. It feels like forever. And I really, really have missed talking to you all. So... I'm glad to be back, hopefully, anyways. But if I do miss a couple days, that might be because I'm trying to help my voice recover because I don't want it to be totally gone. You kind of have to let your voice recover properly um, or it can last like up to a month or more. I, I've known people like YouTubers who didn't let their voices recover properly and then they've been sick for months on end because they just didn't properly like give their body time so I'm hopefully have given my body enough time to recover but uh yeah anyways let's talk a little bit about this build so the outside is basically all done you guys have probably already guessed like licorice lodge it's black and white themed uh, because this is for the not so berry challenge I was keeping in mind the theme of mint which is the very first sims theme um so we do have mint wallpaper but I didn't want everything in the house to be mint I wanted it to be kind of beachy and cool so a bit fresh and then we have like all of these little bits and bobs everywhere because that's just how I like to decorate things and um, everything's really bright and colorful I'm so excited to do this challenge because it's like all about rainbow and like stuff like that I've actually never done a legacy challenge before so it's going to be interesting and I'm very glad that it's going to be like a rainbow themed challenge, like legacy challenge, uh, rather than me try uh, like Disney one or something first. So I'm just very, very excited. We have so many pot plants in this house too, guys, because in my mind, if you live near the ocean, I don't know, I just feel like you want nature not only like outside down the road at the beach, but you want it in your house. And that's just my style too. I love pot plants and I have so many in my room right now. I have like eight pot plants. I need more. I need more pot plants. Somebody buy me some for Christmas, please. I actually would be so happy getting like plants for Christmas or my birthday. Oh my gosh. My sister-in-law, well, uh, ex-sister-in-law. It's really difficult. When people have divorces, I don't know what to call people, but she's basically like a second mum to me. Um, she gave me like a ton of money my last birthday to buy plants. And I was just like, amen, sister. This is like the best present ever. Oh my goodness. We even have pot plants in this little tiny bathroom. So I put this like cool tiled ground in the bathroom. I really, really like it. Like mosaic. Um, it kind of reminds me of Byron Bay, which is also inspired by Peckett's house. Like, oh my gosh. I, if you guys ever get to witness Peckett's house, which I'm not sure if you ever will. Um, it is the bomb. Like it is just 
beach shack goals. I love it so much. I love visiting it. Uh, but yeah, that's why this whole house is very like compact and small because a lot of places here in Australia, especially near the beach, are quite small um, little houses, but people renovate them and make them into their own. And I really, really adore that. So I tried to kind of put that essence into this build. Um, and I think I, I think I did all right with it. I would love to live in this house. And it's you, pro you guys are probably going to see more of these style of builds in the near future because I'm really thinking about like a couple like six months ahead of time and I'm excited to get my own little beach shack like I'm just so excited to live at the beach for once hopefully they have good internet that's the one thing we need to figure out but um, yeah, so this little corner is actually a little bit of a kerfuffle. So kerfuffle, is that a word? Well, it is now. So I did have to move that wall and make that second bedroom a little bit smaller just because uh, it was so tiny. It was like a little hallway and I did want to shove in a bit of a lounge room, a TV room here. So um, it does work out. I did test with our sim. Uh, if it would be like workable and it is thank goodness because I don't know what I would do I don't want to make this house any bigger and it is quite a small lot. It's like 30 20 um, But yeah, we only have two bedrooms uh, Two bathrooms, but the second one is like an outhouse. So that kind of does I guess it's just like another toilet doesn't have a um, shower or anything um, but yeah, we have a lot of little random collectibles because I really feel like they add a lot more character into a build. So, um, of course, if you guys are collecting things, like I will be collecting things in the actual um, challenge, I will delete all of those things just to make it all fair because I don't want it to um, jeopardize anything to do with the challenge. And I did spend probably, I think it was... 80,000 or I think it's $80,000 on this entire house. So that's a little bit expensive. I am going to go ahead and delete a lot of things. And um, like I said earlier on in the video, we are just going to look back at this one uh, for reference when we get more money and want to do decorating. So yeah, uh, but you guys can definitely go ahead and download the actual finished version of this on the gallery it will be up um but yeah so when you guys do watch the not so berry challenge on my channel the house probably will look a lot more empty unfortunately i probably will leave in all of the plants because let's be honest i i love plants i need to keep that greenery close by me even in game like it's all around me in real life and it needs to be all around me in game too so i probably will keep those there but a lot of the other little leave like a lot of paintings and that are probably unnecessary for now um but we will keep that van at the front because hell yeah we need that van and it kind of brings a li little bit more of realism to the build so my voice is actually starting to hurt a lot right now um I really thought I'd be able to get through this entire video, um, but unfortunately I just don't want to push my voice that far. We are going to do a little bit of a shed out the back, so I just want to quickly talk about a few things before I go and um, at the end of the video I'll go and do continue with a bit of commentary over the screenshots. So we have two bedrooms that I'm going to be finishing, uh, just a random spare one and then the main bedroom which is very black and white sort of themed, meant to go with the licorice sort of style that I was going for. I don't know, mint and licorice are two things that I really dislike when it comes to lollies or candy as you call it in America. So I try to throw them all into one house, like my disliked lollies all in one household perfect licorice and mint yay um but yeah so that bedroom is that and then we have a shed out the back uh which ends up looking really cool and i really really like it but yeah guys i'm going to leave the video right now and i will be back to end the video at the screenshot so i will see you all then
Alrighty, so we are back and here we are just finishing up some things, adding some ivy. There's actually a lot of ivy around this house and I love it so, so much. Um, so I hope you guys liked the shed. It really looks like a lot of people's sheds that I actually know. So I'm pretty happy with how it came out. This is basically what a lot of Australians houses uh, look like old houses that have been renovated. There's usually a shed out the back, an outdoor potty. Um, but yeah, pretty cool, right? Now we're up to our screenshots. Here's the kitchen, very, very busy. I love that little desk. I love all of the paintings, the pot plants. There's just so, so much in this room. I just think it's so retro and cute. Uh, here is the little living area. Um, with the TV, the shelf underneath it, I love it so much. Here's the bathroom, uh, which we didn't really put a lot in, but it's functional, right? Here's the spare bedroom and the main bedroom, the master bedroom. Very, very nice. Uh, I think the wallpaper is kind of different. Makes it look a little bit, I don't know, vintagey. Is that a word? I don't know. Here's the outdoor area. It's quite open actually. I like that little like transition between the two houses, like the shed and the house. Uh, here is the room which I adore. Can't wait for my sims to go and hang out in here. Um, we also have a workshop on the side there which will be very helpful in the challenge. Um, the outdoor house, um, the outhouse I mean, and then we also have a little area for our sims to have a bit of a gig with friends I suppose. But yeah guys, that is this fun little licorice lodge build. I hope you guys all enjoy. As you guys can probably hear, my voice is very strained right now so I'm not going to push it any further. I hope you guys are excited for the not so berry challenge. I am just so so keen. I'm going to obviously talk a little bit more about that when we actually do that video so uh, if you guys have any questions leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Love your fits. Goodbye!